Dogs and loud noises can do only so much, but when a formidable enemy such as the peregrine falcon appears in the sky, most other birds steer clear. And it doesn't matter whether the falcon is real or a robot, as long as it has flapping instead of fixed wings. If a bird of prey is in the area, but it's just soaring around, it's, it's just gliding in the air, in the air it's not flapping its wings, it's most certainly just observing, it's not actively hunting. So other birds, they notice it, they see it, they'll be on high alert, but that's about it. The moment that this bird starts flapping its wings, they know that it's got serious, and that's when they know that everything starts to get dangerous for them. Designing a mechanical wing that bends across its entire length in a repetitive motion, as birds' wings do, was a formidable task. Just like with real birds, um, the wings, which might look rigid, are actually flexible, uh, which allows it to sort of row through the air instead of just moving its wings up and down. Uh, and this allows it to actually generate not only the lift, but also the thrust that it needs to go forward. The body of the robot is 3D printed out of fiberglass and nylon composite, which can withstand hard landings and made in a natural feather pattern. For now, it flies by a remote control, but its designers are working on an algorithm which can keep it on a predetermined flight path, for instance, along the perimeter of an airport. Robert Falcon is already successfully keeping birds in check around several airports and landfills. Its next iteration, a North American bald eagle, capable of scaring bigger birds, will be available soon. George Putich, VOA News.